Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm your boy Retro Bliss and this is Retro Bliss Gaming and we're going to have some fun today. We're going to get to some Atari 2600. Uh, we haven't done that for a few days. Um, and we're going to play a game that I uh, hold near and dear to my heart. It's one of my most favorite 2600 games of all time. Uh, this is a homebrew and this is a homebrew uh, by Champ Games, it is Scramble for the Atari 2600. Let's get over to so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, uh, this is a, a port of a arcade game. Um, this was, uh, this was, I don't think this was done. No, this was never done for the 2600. The, uh, the, uh, what was the uh, uh, Super Cobra was done for the uh, 2600, but it was horrible. Um, I can't remember who who did it. I can't remember who did it. I'm having a brain fart, but it was horrible. But uh, actually, Temp Games did a Super Cobra Arcade, which is actually um, very well done also. I highly recommend it also, but Scramble is probably, be, probably my favorite. But anyway, uh, I haven't played it in a while. I had actually got some people that uh, complained that I played it too much on the channel, uh, but I haven't played it in, in a little while, but we're going to play it today. I'm in the mood, and that's what we're going to do. So, <laughs> so uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, I invite you to subscribe, turn on your notifications. Uh, we stream a lot. We do uh, video game reviews. We do console reviews, uh, controller reviews, things like that. Oh, so uh, without further delay, let's get to the game. One of my favorites. So, uh, oh, I do want to let you know, <clears throat> there's links in the channel where you can actually buy this game in cartridge form from the Atari Age uh, uh, website. And um, if you're not into, if you don't have a console, but you're into emulation, you can actually purchase the ROM from uh, um the Champ Games website directly from John Champo himself, the man who created the game um, from the Champ Games website. Uh, there's a link in the description for that. Um, if you want to just try it out, there's a demo version you can download for free. I believe you can just go through the first level. Maybe I think it's just the first level, maybe first few levels. Uh, but uh, it's enough to give you a little taste of whether you want to uh, buy it or not. If you buy the cartridge version this is what i do i buy the cartridge version because i'm a collector i buy the cartridge version and then <clears throat> i buy the rom version <clears throat> so i can emulate on my pc so i can play the full rom version on my pc and i put it on my harmony card so i can play it on my console and then i just keep my cartridge in my uh, box and keep it on my shelf just so that uh because i'm kind of anal about that i like to keep my collection together so cannabis kids in the house what's going on my brother what's going on <laughs> i haven't played scramble in a while man i'm in the mood so that's what we're going to do today so <clears throat> at least for this round we may stream a little bit later i don't know so let's get to it man Now, in this game, um, an emulation or on your console, if you're using an Atari-style controller, just the one-button setup, your bombs and your missiles fire with just the one button. In the arcade, you had separate buttons for them. Um, I'm okay with just using the one button that works just fine for me. Um, but if you buy the cartridge and you have a Sega Genesis uh, three button controller, I believe you can use the B and C button separately if you choose to uh, shoot them separately. It's a kind of a nice feature that John put in there.
Another thing too, um, what I do, if you notice when I started the game, I put the game in novice. But as the game progresses, it gets progressively harder. Uh, it, gets, it gets to the hardest level really quickly anyway. So I just started easy. Nothing wrong with that. fuel tanks you have a fuel meter down there at the bottom of the screen you have to keep your fuel level up so you have to oh, oh almost got it there you're um, you have to shoot the fuel tanks to um, rejuvenate your fuel This level is very interesting right here. Need full concentration on this. So you pull back and go down. Go straight forward, pull back. Forward, pulls back. to kill that to get through the level didn't do it in enough time I'll die dang it I'm damn dead Dang it. Poop. Ah, got too close to it. I haven't done this in a while. There you go. Okay. Now the mission starts all over again and gets progressively harder. Oh, oh, I couldn't have done that. No. That was, that was unnecessary right there. I like to stay low uh, whenever possible because your uh, bombs, they come out quicker because they hit the ground sooner. So you hit more targets that way. Therefore, more points. Now you do, if you're too low, if you're too low, you can run into whatever's on the ground, so you gotta be careful there. Now these things in the second level, if you notice, they're closer together as they come towards you, so 
They're a little harder to... What's on the ground at this point is kind of secondary. You gotta worry more about avoiding those things. Too high, dang it. Nope. I looked down for just a second. Dang it. That's okay. That's all right. That was my first game. I haven't played in a while. This is a great game, man. I really highly suggest this being in your collection if you have a 2600. John Champo is, is a great programmer and I really, really, really um, appreciate what he's doing for the 2600. There are some games that I really wish that he would um, uh, work on. Uh, he's, got, he's got some uh, things that he's working on right now. He's working on a uh, lunar lander for the 2600, and he's working on a turbo arcade. Turbo was done for the 2600 back in the day, but it wasn't very good. And he's got a demo version. I actually did a, a video of it uh, some time ago. It's on the channel. It's very well done. Um, uh, CDB, that's a very good question. Um, I actually have, uh, uh talked with John Champo directly about that question about which one is better, Scramble or, um, Super Cobra Arcade. <laughs> it is, it is, it is a, uh, a matter of opinion. The difference, I, you know... <laughs> Super Cobra Arcade is harder, I think, because you you uh, you have to go through tunnels and uh, you have to worry about what's up top more. Uh, you know, you have you have uh, you know, like in in this game, you know, you have like here, you, like right there, you have some, but not too much. But in that game, it's 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 more so. So it's it's a little bit harder. Uh, for some reason, I like Scramble better, but um, I don't know. I, I think that Scramble or uh, Super Cobra Arcade is, is basically like Scramble on steroids. That's basically how I look at it. Uh, they're both excellent, excellent, excellent games. Um, it's kind of a toss-up for me. I really don't. I can't. I can't. You know, it's like saying which one. Which one's your favorite kid? You know. <laughs> I don't know. They're both great. They're just both great. I just, I don't know. They're just both great. But anyway, uh, getting back to John Champeau. Um, he's always working on projects and I'm, I'm telling you what, he's got another one too. He's got elevator. He's calling it elevator action, but, um, he's doing, it's a port of elevator agent. It's, it's very well done. And I really like that, but I want him to do, uh, a port of burger time for the 2600. The one that was done by M Network was horrible. It was just horrible. And I love Burger Time, and I would love to see a really, really good one for the 2600. Um, and there's some other ports of some video games that I, I would love to see uh, him do. There's, you know, the the um, 8K version of Pac-Man is very well done, but there's some people that think that it could be done even better uh, with some more because he's got some more um with the technology now that he can program with with more um with more um i guess more um i don't want you know instead of it being ak he can make it up to like 32k or whatever which the original uh 
game was made of. The graphics could probably be better. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Let's get back to the game. Hey, Paul Robinson, what's going on, my brother? Hey, Chris. Uh, Chris Albright's in the house. I want to get to Chris for a minute. Chris ordered some games from Atari Age, and he's got some coming. And while we were on the uh, stream yesterday, I was I was kind of rambling on because I had ordered some games from Atari Age, and I didn't. I haven't gotten them. It's been almost four months. And right after I got off the stream yesterday, I got I had gotten an email from uh, Albert at Atari Age, and it was basically a generic email. And in the email, it he sent a picture of uh, some skids of some um, uh, boxes that he had shipped out, and apparently he's he's getting them out. And so I mine wasn't in the skid, and I don't have a tracking number, but he is uh, assuring us that they're on the way. So hopefully, yeah. <laughs> And Chris is saying, make burger time. We want burger time. So, <laughs> okay, let's get back to scramble. I keep rambling. Let's go. You're here for, for some video game action. Let's go. John Champo, man, I, I, he's a master, man. I, you know, it's just amazing to me what he's been able to do with the 2600. He actually agreed to do an interview with me, and one of these days I'm going to have to, when I can get set up here, I'm going to... If he's, if he's still willing to do it, if we're, we're going to try to do an interview with him someday, um, to talk to him about the video games he's made and, you know, maybe future projects, and maybe we'll talk to him about doing some uh, games like Burger Time. So, we'll see. love scramble in the arcades um, because it was so colorful this game is very colorful
And I hit it again. Yeah, Rally X would be kind of cool to see too, yeah. Oh no! Man, what am I doing? I usually do better at this level. Oh, come on. I found it interesting that he's doing a port of, um, or he's wanting to do a port of, uh, Lunar Lander because of Lim. Lim is a uh, homebrew that's been out there for a little while, and it's it's very well done. I like Lim. Lim's a very good port of uh, Lunar Lander. So I was kind of shocked when I heard that he was doing that. So I'll be interested to see how well that's done. Uh, another reason is because Lunar Lander is a vector-based game. So we'll see how that works out. came up on me all of a sudden. No, 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 There we go.
Oh no! Oh, I thought I had it, dog. Got me. Ah, you dirty rat. I didn't do too bad. I tell you what though, I'm having fun with this, but my it's to me it's most enjoyable on my console. It's so enjoyable to play on my console. Looks so good, plays so good on my console. All right, let's keep going. Oh yeah, Ladybug. Ladybug is great on my I have it. I have it also. Uh, we'll do that sometime too if you guys want to. Um, hmm, Ladybug, I have Ladybug Arcade. Actually, I think Ladybug Arcade is probably better. It's an improvement. I think um, I I actually think that uh, John Champo when he initially did Ladybug, after he did it, I think that he had wished that he had made some changes to it and then re-released it is what I think is what had happened. I, I'd have to ask him about that. If I do interview him, that's one of the questions I'm going to ask him on that because he did change it. It's, it's late. The regular ladybug is good. It is very good, but, uh, I have both. I have both of them and they both play very well. So, uh, Hey, thanks, CDB. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, actually, I see that you subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, take care. We'll see you next time. But anyway, let's get back to the um, to the game. Let's go. <clears throat> Another thing, too, if you guys are uh, having some flickering issue, uh, it may be because um, you want to have make sure that Whatever, however you're streaming, that you're streaming at 60 frames per second. I don't know why that is, but John Tampo says you want to stream at least 60 frames per second. There's a little flicker in the game.
Another thing at this two, level two, you see the rockets down at the bottom, the missiles, I should say, that are pointed up. They never shoot up at this level. So they're kind of pointless. But that's the way it is in the uh, arcade game too, so. I saw it too late. I saw it too late. looks easy but you it's it was one of the hardest things to master and I actually contacted John to figure out how to do it because I didn't know I was like dude I can't figure this out but you have to approach the tunnel full speed and then as soon as you get out you have to back off and then go straight up Dog, you dirty dog. They're cheaters. They're cheaters. Yeah, man, the, as uh, you progress to the next level, you start you start all over again after that after you uh, when you start uh, they get harder. Everything gets faster and harder. No! What am I doing? That was so stupid. I'm losing... I, I don't want to lose my lives uh, uh, in these levels that I should be getting by.
Oh! Dang it, I should have went up higher! Ah! Uh, I couldn't adjust. Oh, that was horrible. That was just absolutely, absolutely horrible. Animus, I've never heard of anything called Thief by Thief. I have to look into that. What's up, Shutdown? How you doing, brother? Thanks for coming by, man. So Thief is a Pac-Man type game that has police scanner sounds in it. I uh, never heard of such a thing. This game it's a shoot 'em up, but a shoot 'em up with strategy, you know. If I'm not mistaken, that when Scramble was initially made, it was uh, it was one of the first side-scrolling shooters. I'm not sure if it preceded Defender or not. Not a hundred percent sure about that.
Dang it. better in this round. I don't know why I'm having some issues. Whoa, I almost got it there. No, 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 I ran right into him. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, guys, I'm not being very talkative. I'm sorry. I, sometimes I concentrate so much, I don't... Oh, boy.
going on it won't let me... <laughs> man I was so close to my high score too Canyon Bomber came out in 1977 I, I think yeah I think it was one of the original releases for the VCS man I think you are right I do believe you are right Oh, hey, uh, don't know how to pronounce your name, M-R-I-T-U-N-J-A-Y. What's going on, guys? Uh, let's see. I have, how many levels did I go? I don't know how many, I think that was my, I was on my third level there. So... Well, let's play one more, guys. Let's do this one more time. See how far I can go. One more time. This is, this. like I said, this is one of my favorite 2600 games. Homebrew or not. Do you like uh, Super Cobra Arcade? It's kind of a toss up between this and Super Cobra Arcade, really, for me. I think the key here is just to make sure you fire often and fast. If they get close, be ready to avoid, but... Not already. Not round one. going to stream uh, later guys i don't know i may do it oh come on i can't walk and chew gum i swear to god okay um what do you guys want me to stream i'm thinking about another 2600 game i've kind of been neglecting my 2600 either that or an 8-bit game um uh, the atari 8-bit line uh, 
Any ideas? Either let me know now or send them to me at retroblissgaming at gmail.com. I'm going to take a quick break. Dang it. I may be streaming sooner than I had expected, looks like. Gosh. This, uh, this game is not going well at all. Like I said, I have to concentrate sometimes. I just can't walk it too go. I love the sounds in this game, man. Pitfall. I can't play Pitfall, man. Uh, can we do something else? I'm not good at Pitfall at all, man. That would be an embarrassment. You guys would not want to see me play Pitfall. You guys would start watching and turn me off. Seriously, that would not be enjoyable for you to see. I've never played Superman. Never, ever, ever, ever played Superman. I'm not sure how that game goes. Keep them coming, keep the suggestions coming. <laughs> Thank you. 
No! Shortcake? <laughs> no! <laughs> That's another one of those games I've never played, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> Cannabis, man, you gotta, you gotta do better than that, man. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. So close to my high score. You know, the problem with Kaboom, I can play Kaboom. Um, you know what? That's possible. Uh, I do. I can play Kaboom. I'm not real good at it. We might do Kaboom. Kaboom's possible. We might do Kaboom. I have to change my controller. We'll play with my other controller. Lim is also a good one. I really like Lim. Let me uh let me think about this guys. Comparison between the two ladybugs, that's a good idea. I like that idea. You guys have given me some things to think about. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm leaning towards, guys. Let's do this. Let me take a break. We're going to do Kaboom, but let's do that another day. We, I promise I'll do it on uh, cannabis. I promise. Let's do... Uh, We'll do we'll do a comparison between the two versions of Ladybug in one episode and then towards the end of the episode if we have time Well, Gorf is good, but uh I might I might do a, a separate one on that on its own. Uh towards the end of it I may do a little limb at the end. 
And then we'll do Gorford another one. And then we'll do um, Kaboom another one. So we'll do Ladybug comparison. And then uh, we'll, we may do a little limb on the end of it. So let's do that, guys. Uh, let me take a little break. Uh, I got to do what's called the pay to water bill, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, my bladder's about the size of a golf ball these days. So, uh, <laughs> all right, guys, I appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Um, we're going to be, uh, back in just a little bit. Appreciate you guys. Um, hang tight. I promise you it won't be very long. Not today. Uh, the wife's uh, downtown where she's not working from home. So I'm not going to really take a really much of a long lunch break at all. I might take just a Enough to get me a little protein bar or something, but not too long. So I'll be right back. See y'all in a bit. Take care. Bye.